Hi, my name is Father Tom McDermott. I'm a Dominican friar and pastor of St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Center at Purdue here in West Lafayette, Indiana. Whether you were born into Catholicism or discovered it on your own, one founding principle of the Catholic Church is central to our faith, the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, which means that during Mass, the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. In response, the National Eucharistic Revival was launched in 2022 on Corpus Christi Sunday. The revival is intended to help us individually and as a faith community to gain a greater understanding and love of Christ. At St. Tom's, a team of resident and student parishioners has been diligently working to set up a series of faith formation activities to help us explore the Eucharist and better understand it while deepening our personal faith and our sense of community. And among the activities is the opportunity to share what the Eucharist personally means to you. I see the Eucharist as a miraculous event in which Jesus infuses a simple wafer and a chalice of wine with his divine presence. And we are called as Catholics to come to that event and be united in his love. The Eucharist to me is the greatest example of love and sacrifice that we have. Not only do we have the chance to receive him, but we also have the chance to sit with him and gaze at him and just look at the source and summit of our faith and the closest thing that we can get to heaven on earth. The Eucharist to me, it shows that God, God wants to be with us. He wants to be in union with us. Each time I go to receive our Lord in the Eucharist, I'm reminded of this love, and then I'm prompted to receive him worthily, and then I'm also expected to receive him with my whole heart, and then try to share this love he has for us to others as well. Jesus gives us the Eucharist, which the Eucharist is the continuation of his incarnation. The Eucharist is the is the peak of Mass, and Mass is the source and summit of our faith, and the Eucharist, therefore, is the pinnacle of our faith and our, our lives, is to become, become more and share more in Jesus' divinity with God so that we can be in better relationship with Him and be closer to Him um, as we go throughout this life uh, in preparation to be with Him forever and ever. So if I had to describe the Eucharist in one word, I would say home. And when I say that, a home is a situation that puts you and where you feel safest, where you feel most loved, and where you feel most comforted. And when you receive the Eucharist, you are in union with somebody that makes you feel safe, that somebody that makes you feel comforted, and somebody that loves you more than anybody will ever love you on this planet Earth combined. That's Jesus Christ. That is a place where you feel completely safe. I love going to adoration. And it was one night I sat at adoration. I asked the Lord, who are you? Like having this personal conversation with him. And I think I began to feel like a, someone was giving me a hug. I was filled with his love and his peace. During this time of adoration, I was spending with him. I, I began to understand that was the greatest love that he could give to us. So when the priest on the altar say this is uh, the body of Christ and when you're receiving at the communion, is it really meant like it's a special moment. Like he gave himself to us. Okay, I come to uh, being Catholic after being a, kind of a generic Protestant, so I'm a convert. And one of the things that really attracted me to Catholicism was the idea of the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. It's one of the things that has brought me back many, many times when I felt down or when I felt joyful, either one. And that communion with God and the communion with the people in the, in the parish really make the ma major difference to me. And all of that is encapsulated in the Eucharist, in the body and blood of Christ. There are many ways to draw yourself closer to Jesus Christ during this Eucharistic revival at St. Tom's, including small group book studies, Eucharistic processions, and guest speakers. You can also be in our Lord's presence by attending daily mass, offered 10 times each week, and adoration four days a week. 
We'd love for you to share what the Eucharist means to you too. Visit BoilerCatholics.org slash Holy Dash Eucharist to share your thoughts and to learn more about the Eucharistic Revival at St. Tom's. Thank you.